I bought chat GPT plus so you don't have to. What's the difference? I don't know, let's find out. So preparing for this video, I was about to Google search what's the difference between ChatGPT and the paid version, ChatGPT+. Then I realized, why don't we just ask it together? So I asked it, what makes ChatGPT Plus so special? ChatGPT Plus is a more advanced version of the original ChatGPT model that has been trained on a larger and more diverse data set, enabling it to generate more accurate and natural language responses to a wider range of topics. Additionally, ChatGPT Plus has been fine-tuned on conversational data to better understand and respond to conversational cues, making it a more effective and engaging conversational partner. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool, but what specifically is new about ChatGPT Plus? ChatGPT Plus is an upgraded version of the original ChatGPT model with several enhancements. Some of the notable improvements include Number one is increased model size, so ChatGPT Plus is a larger model with 6 billion parameters compared to the original ChatGPT's 1.5 billion parameters. Improved training data, the model was trained on a more extensive and diverse data set which includes more conversational data, resulting in a model that can better understand and generate natural language responses. Fine-tuned for conversational AI, ChatGPT Plus has been specifically fine-tuned for conversational AI, meaning that it has learned to better understand the conversational context and generate more engaging and relevant responses and better performance. ChatGPT Plus has shown improved performance over the original ChatGPT in several language tasks, including question answering, language translation, and conversational generation. Okay, that sounds great, but let's dive in deeper. What does any of that actually mean? So firstly, I wanted to learn more about what specifically 6 billion parameters means. The number of parameters in a language model refers to the number of learnable elements that the model uses to generate its outputs. In simple terms, the more parameters generally means that the model can better capture complex patterns and relationships in the data, resulting in more accurate and natural language generation. ChatGPT Plus has 6 billion parameters, which is a significant increase compared to the original ChatGPT model's 1.5 billion parameters. This means that ChatGPT Plus has a much larger capacity to learn from the data and generate high quality responses. However, it's worth noting that the number of parameters alone doesn't necessarily guarantee better performance. The quality and diversity of the training data, as well as the model architecture and optimization, also play a crucial role in determining the overall effectiveness of the model. Next, improved training data? That just sounds like a bunch of marketing words. What exactly does that mean for ChatGPT Plus? The quality and diversity of the training data are critical factors that determine the performance of a language model. With ChatGPT Plus, the training data has significantly improved in several ways, which has helped the model generate a more accurate and natural language response. Some of the improvements in the training data include increased size, ChatGPT Plus was trained on a much larger dataset compared to the original ChatGPT. The dataset includes web pages, books, and other sources resulting in a more diverse and extensive set of training examples. More diverse sources, the training data for ChatGPT Plus includes text from a broader range of sources including academic papers, news articles, and social media. This diversity helps model better understand and generate language that reflects the real world context. Enhanced pre-processing, the training data was pre-processed using more advanced techniques such as cleaning and filtering, which helps remove noise and irrelevant information from the data. Overall, these improvements in the training data can help ChatGPT Plus better capture the nuances and complexities of natural language, leading to a more accurate and natural language generation. Okay, so bigger model size, better training data. Now what? Do you fine tune all of it? What does that mean? Fine tuning is a process of further training a pre-trained language model on a specific task or domain to improve its performance. In the case of ChatGPT+, the model was fine tuned on conversational data to better understand and generate natural language responses in a conversational context. During the fine-tuning process, the model was exposed to a large volume of conversational data such as chat logs and customer support interactions and trained to predict the next utterance in a conversation given the previous context. This process helps 
the model learn to better understand conversational nuances such as sarcasm, humor, and context and generate more engaging and relevant responses. In addition to fine-tuning on conversational data, ChatGPT Plus was also fine-tuned on several other tasks such as question answering and language translation to further improve its overall performance. By fine-tuning the model on specific tasks and domains, ChatGPT Plus has become more specialized and effective at generating natural language in a variety of contexts, including conversational AI. And with all that power, tell me more about the better performance. What does that mean for ChatGPT Plus? ChatGPT Plus has demonstrated improved performance over the original ChatGPT model. In several language tasks, including language generation, ChatGPT Plus can generate more accurate and natural language responses across a wide range of topics thanks to the larger and more diverse training data set. Question answering, ChatGPT Plus can provide more accurate answers to questions by understanding the context and nuances of the question. Language translation, ChatGPT Plus can more accurately translate text from one language to another. And conversational AI, so ChatGPT Plus is more effective at generating engaging and relevant responses in a conversational context, thanks to its fine tuning on conversational data. These improvements in performance are a result of the increased size and quality of the training dataset. The larger the model size and the fine tuning on conversational data and other language tasks. While there's always room for improvement, ChatGPT Plus represents a significant step forward in the development of more accurate and effective natural language processing models. So I think we understand that overall ChatGPT Plus is just enhanced. I asked it why anyone would pay $20 a month for this and it followed up with more of the same kind of thing. It's more accurate, but I think one of the coolest parts is the fact that we can actually get access to the API. You can now integrate ChatGPT itself into your applications or workflows and you can put ChatGPT into your own projects. So I dug in a little bit deeper. How do we access ChatGPT API? To access the ChatGPT Plus API, you will need to do these general steps. Sign up for the API key, choose an API client, integrate the API client with your application, make API requests. The specifics of how to access and use ChatGPT Plus API will depend on the API client and the programming language you choose. However, OpenAPI provides detailed documentation and examples to help you get started. Maybe we'll play around with API integrations in another video, so subscribe for that and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. But let me know in the comments if you want me to test something specific inside of ChatGPT+. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.